23 years ago, Gavin Watson started a company. Its name was Diambu Holdings, which later became Bosasa, and now it's known as African Global Operations. Tomorrow, Wednesday, the 4th of December, Bosasa is going to be sold off, piece by piece, brick by brick. Behind me here is Bosasa's head office in Leipartsvlei in Krugersdorp. This is what is known as the Smart Global Campus. Inside, more than 100 TV screens, more than 100 cars, trucks, buckies, everything from leather armchairs to office furniture is going to be for sale. But we are now going to take you inside the heart of the beast. So here we are now inside the very safe where Gavin Watson was seen on that video, counting some of that money that was alleged to have been packed as bribe money at the end of every month. We see the very table that he sat at just to my right here. And over here across from me, there are two, three safes where the money was actually kept. Now on the one side here is the drop safe that Mr. Angelo Gruzzi famously testified about as having pinched his fingers a couple of times when he had to put large stacks of money inside. And we are really here now at the center. This is the one spot, the most infamous spot inside the Bosasa's head office where the actual bribe money was actually put together and given to directors and sent out into the world. The legacy of Bosasa's main sources of income since 2004 can be found throughout the property. So let's just quickly deal with what those two sources of income are. It was two tenders. The one of them was to put up fences at prisons around our country, and the other was to provide security for those same prisons. Now, inside the property, there's a research and development building for global technology systems, which was previously Bosasa Security. In here, they developed the Trustmaster system, which Bosasa patented, which was their system used to run all of the CCTV and access control and surveillance equipment uh, networks at prisons around the country. So there you have it. We've taken a walk through this eight hectare property. We've seen 16 office buildings, you know, with enough space for hundreds of employees. There are three walk-in safes around here. There are cars. We've seen Gavin Watson's BMW. We've seen his Porsche that he used to drive that was with his wife in Port Elizabeth. 12 billion rand went through this company behind me in the space of 15 years. And it is evident in every piece of furniture, in every brick, and in every table and chair. I'm Kyle Cowan, and this is News 24.